So two things today. We're gonna learn some really interesting facts about Levetiracetam, AKA Keppra, but also, did you win last week's contest? Stay tuned to the end of this video to find out. Today's video is brought to you by Ariam EEG, a remote EEG monitoring company. Levetiracetam could possibly be the most go-to drug to treat epilepsy. Commonly referred to by its brand name Keppra, it's a relatively new drug first approved in the United States in 1999. It's crazy to think for comparison, if you remember in our last video about phenytoin, that was discovered in 1908. Keppra came along 91 years later. I'm waiting! Used alone or with other medicines, Keppra can help control seizures such as partial, myoclonic, or tonic-clonic seizures. It's still debatable on the proper age to take Keppra. However, the Food and Drug Administration has approved the use of Keppra for adults and children over the age of four. Now we talked about Keppra being the most common brand name, but Levetiracetam's other brand names include Keppra XR and Alepsia XR. Keppra can be taken via tablets, extended release tablets, and intravenously. Side effects. Side effects include dizziness, drowsiness, low energy, decreased appetite, headache, and weakness and irritability. Now let's get to the nerdy stuff. What you're seeing now is a typical unmedicated neuron. And that green ball moving down the neuron is a vesicle full of neurotransmitters. And the red thread-like protein surrounding it is called SV2. Now that vesicle needs SV2 to help it release the neurotransmitters once it gets to the end. After binding to the receptors, the receptors are then opened up and the electrical signal is now able to pass through. All right, remember, that was a normal neuron vesicle without Keppra. Now let's take a look at that same vesicle in a patient who has taken Keppra. These are the molecules in Keppra binding to SV2 and stopping it from releasing those neurotransmitters from the vesicle. And now that there are no transmitters on the receptors, the electrical signal is stopped and therefore seizures reduced. Now this is about the time where we go over the EEG effects. However, most studies show that Keppra doesn't really affect the EEG and therapeutic doses. And that's it folks, thanks for watching. Hey, before you go, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and leave a comment. That's by far the best way you can help support our videos. And no, I didn't forget the contest winner. Congratulations. Congratulations to Sharon Lamb Davis for winning the Yeti mug. Someone from our staff will be messaging you shortly. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.